Lena Logan. Right now I'm outside the Grand Junction Regional Airport, but earlier today I was on the runway when the plane from the inaugural flight from Denver to Grand Junction landed just more than a couple hours ago. And when that plane touched down, it marked a new spot in the history for the Western Slope. Now there was plenty of excitement here at the Grand Junction Regional Airport. There was the Grand Junction Chamber of Commerce. The Economic Partnership was here. City Council members were here and the city manager was here. But the most excited person of them all was Governor Polis, who on his first inaugural flight says he couldn't find a better occasion than marking the connection between Den Denver and Grand Junction and the big things it could mean for both. This is really important because it's about interconnectivity. It's about the ability of Mesa County residents, Western Colorado residents to get to Denver for 19 bucks, 29 bucks, uh, a nice modern aircraft. Um, and not only get to the front range, there's access to dozens of cities and frontiers networks. So it makes it a lot less expensive if you want to go to Mexico or the Caribbean. But it's also about making Mesa County and Western Colorado a better place to do business because companies look for areas that are served by major carriers with major capacity. And this will help create jobs right here in Mesa County. Now, I spoke with the executive director for the Grand Junction Regional Airport earlier today, and she said over a year ago she had serious doubts and fears fears that the airport might be shut down due to the pandemic. But more than a year later, she's excited to announce that they're approaching their busiest summer ever. And just some side notes for you folks, those promo $19 airfares had to be purchased by 11.59 p.m. on April 19th. But fares are still as low as 39 bucks for a 40 minute flight to Denver versus a four and a half hour drive. First on the Western Slope and live at the Grand Junction Regional Airport, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Lena, Logan.